This is the fourth part of a set of tutorials that have been dealing with the Visuals Editor tool, and this last part is going to be dealing with the Performer Prop tab, and you can see right here. Now, in all honesty, I don't ever use the Performer Prop. I, I take that back. I actually have used it once or twice to set up a template, and I'll show you what I mean by that, because you can also use it to uh, set up drum major podiums or a pit if you're designing for a band that has a pit. I mostly design for college bands, so I don't really have to worry about it very much. But it's also very useful for laying out on the field all of the different props that you're going to have at some point, uh, if, if you are interested in doing that. Like all the other parts of the Visuals Editor tool, this is really only useful when you're in real view right here. If you are not the kind of person that uses real view a whole lot and you just prefer to write the drill here on the drill grid and um, you know and, and a lot of really high quality drill designers never have to use real view they basically know in their head what the drill is going to look like and they use just the drill grid. So if you're one of those that prefers to use this 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 tutorial is probably not for you. However, if you want to mess around with the options that are available to you, uh, it can be a little fun sometimes. Now, that being said, uh, I don't use it very often, but you can use it for a couple of different things. You'll, you'll note that I have one spot here on the field. There he is, my one little lonesome guy right above the 50-yard markers. And I'm going to go ahead and select that person. And now I have some options here. The first thing that I can do, fairly simple, I can turn them into a pit prop. And what does that mean? Well, uh, I could turn them into a large pit. <laughs> and there you go. You've got a pit on the field. And then all I would really have to do is move this spot, say, to like right off, right off the field. And then when you are looking at drill, you've got the pit right there and there are different size pit options you can go with a small pit instead of a large pit you can do all these options here so you can actually add on a lot of things because all you have to do is select another performer in fact let's go ahead and do that we've got our pit going here and let's put two more performers we'll put one on either side of that pit prop okay and now i'm going to select both of those guys actually no i'm going to select one of those guys and let's turn that person into a concert bass drum. And then let's turn the other person into uh, a set of timpani. Why not? And in fact, let's move the timpani, the set of timpani, a little bit over. Now let's take a look at what that looks like. Well, there you go. There you have it. You've got. Um, a somewhat realistic looking pit and then you can keep adding or subtracting things as you see fit. Um, in fact, I could change that timpani or either one of those, I, any of those three spots actually, I can change them to anything here. Uh, gong, which probably means tam-tams, um, tubular bells, vibes, a grand piano, because why not? Maybe you have a grand piano on your sideline because that wouldn't be difficult to carry around at all. But you have all these options here. All you have to do is create a spot and then change the properties here. You can also change them into a shape. Now, some of the shapes are very, very basic. So, for example, let's change that person into a box, and you'll see they've been changed into a box. Let's change them into a column. There you have it, a column, a dome, etc., etc. And you can mess around with those options as much as you want. There are also structures available. I can turn this person into metal bleachers, <laughs> okay? I might need to move it around. And it's nice that Pyware gives you the, um, it kind of gives you the dimensions of the prop when you're doing this. That's that circle all around it. But you know what I could do with this? I could put it way at the back, sort of where metal bleachers might already exist in your program and uh, you'd have them back there. So you could do that to make it as realistic as possible. One of the things that I use it for, or actually one of the few things that I use it for, is this right here. I'm going to create a new spot right there on the uh, new spot, not an existing spot, right here on the sideline. And you can see right now it's just a person because I haven't changed anything yet. But I'm going to go ahead and change this into a drum major podium six-foot drum major podium. I'm going to hit apply changes and there you go. A little 
covered up right now by the uh, uh, by the pit, but you can see very clearly there's a drum major podium. And one of the things that I do is I actually, for, for realism, I actually do put a person directly on top of it. Now, when I try to do that right now, I'm going to try to move that spot directly on top of the podium. You'll see it's not working. <laughs> you can see that it's, uh, yeah, uh, very physically unrealistic. Well, that's because for my, for my podium, I don't have it set to be walked on. So I need to first select that podium and tell, tell that spot, hey, this can be walked on. When I do that, and then when I go back and select, I'm going to have to move one so that I can get at it a little bit easier. Let, let me just put it out here, even though it's not realistic to have it on the field. When I tell this person, my, my little guy right here, I need to say, hey, he can walk on performer props. Okay. And then when I move him, Guess what? He's on the podium. Now, what I'd want to do probably with him is uh, take away his instrument and then have him face backfield. And there you go. Now I've got a drum major standing on a podium. All of this stuff was done with the performer prop tools. You can also get some custom props. Now, one of the cool things that Pyware has started doing is that they have, uh, where is it? Right here, under interactive, the drop down menu, they have a real view asset store. And when you click on that, you've got all of these props that you can download for free. When you download them, they show up here. So I could, for example, take my drum major E guy, and instead of being a person, I could turn them into one of these that I have downloaded, like a lamp post. <laughs> and there you go. You have a lamp post with three lights or a shopping cart. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but uh, or a half heart prop. And you can move props around as well. So, for example, I'm going to go from page one to page two. And um, let's say that there would have to be a person involved moving this prop around. So you would, in this pre-existing configuration, you would select both of those guys there. And then you can just move the prop. And when you go to take a look at it in the real view, this is what it would look like. Obviously, you'd want the person to not be holding a saxophone. So I would probably take the saxophone away. And I would probably get them a little bit closer to that spot since they'd be moving it, like maybe right there. Something to that effect. Uh, let's do this real quick. Yeah, so something like that. And, and that way it looks a little bit more realistic that this person might be dragging it or pulling it or what have you. So all of these things can be done with the performer prop tool. Some of these other uh, changes down here where you cannot collide, um, that just basically means that a performer would not be able to go through an object that is designated to not collide. Um, but really a lot of the things that you want to do with people stepping on props, uh, for example, ramps. I know that Pyware includes a ramp, so let's see if we can find it real quick. Um, or a ramp bridge. In fact, let's use the large ramp bridge. And if we take a look at it, yes, okay. So I'm going to move this one uh, a little bit out of the way here. Let's say I'm going to put it over there. Uh, and if I wanted to create, uh, wait a minute, I think I'm going to have to, yep, there we go. And if I wanted to create a person moving across the ramp, I could do something like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the person. It has to be a new person. I keep doing that. Apologies. So there we go. We should have a person at the end of a ramp. Yep. Uh, let me get rid of some of these other guys here so that they are a little bit more clear. Okay. So we have a person at the beginning of a ramp, and I'm going to have them just walk across it. Now, without doing anything, at first, you see they're just kind of going through the middle of the ramp, which yeah, I can't do in real life. So one thing that I can do to change that is I'm going to tell Pyware that this person can walk on performer props. And then I'm also going to select the prop itself, and it's already selected to be walked on. And now when I do that, 
you see you've got the person climbing up the ramp. If I changed this, if I made it so that performer and prop will not collide and try to do this, then you're going to end up with this person going through. Why is that person still going through? Well, because his properties say that he can walk on performer props. The property of the props, I know it's a little confusing, says that they cannot collide. What if I select both of them to not collide? Let's see what happens. Well, they're still colliding. <laughs> I thought that it would move it around, but that just goes to show you my own inexperience with uh, this particular use of the tools. However, most of the time, you're not going to exactly have that anyhow. You're going to have people either going through it or on it or around it. So I think this gives you a pretty good overview of what this tool can accomplish. The more you mess around with it, the more fun you can have. And yeah, you could probably create an entire show full of props and people doing weird things. But remember, at the end of the day, you are designing drill that has to be done here. If it doesn't work here in the grid designer, it's not going to work in real life and it doesn't matter how cool it looks here. So always keep that in mind when you are using the visuals editor tool.